Good morning. Anybody watching this? This is your boy Derek coming to you uh, from a vehicle and it's it's the end of the year and I want to talk to you guys about motivation. What are you going to change this year to make it 2016 even better? Um, you know, 2015 was a rough one for me. So one of the things that I really focused on was mindset. Part of that mindset was just trying to figure out how to get that strong mindset because that really dictates what you do. Um, most of you guys like the videos that I have where I'm actually, you know, taking people down, sellers and buyers and handling objections and getting past no. And, um, you know, those are great. And I have a bunch of those coming this year that you're going to see. But I think these are important too, which is about mindset. Like, what is your mindset? How are you going to make it different? If you keep doing the same shit you did all 2015, how the fuck is 2016 going to be different? It won't. So you want to do what you can do differently to make that challenge. And part of that's going to be mindset. And what is mindset, right? You hear everyone fucking talk about mindset, 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 mindset. But what the fuck is it? How do you change it? What do you, what can you do that's going to be different in terms of mind? Like we all know we want to make deals. Like there's no, there's no, no one does not want to make deals. People study scripts. They try to get on the phones. They try to door knock. They run ads. They do whatever they can do to try to make a change, but you have to do lasting change. And part of that's going to be mentally. How are you going to do things? What's your structure of your day going to be? Are you changing your day? Do you still wake up at nine o'clock and roll in the office at nine 30 and start making phone calls? Or are you up at fucking four 30 quarter of five, you know, thinking about your day, meditating for 10 minutes are you get are you in the gym by 5 30 quarter of six are you doing an hour workout banging it out getting home taking a shower out of the house by eight o'clock in the office by 8 15 8 30 depending on where you live and if you live further you always want to make that so you get in sooner and get out sooner but the reality is what are you going to do differently it's going to shift that to make it more attractive part of it is mindset you got to be positive and no one can control your thoughts is you people can't do this for you you're the gatekeeper of your own thoughts right positive or negative so when you say stuff out loud, you verbalize it, you attract that. Look, ships don't sink from the water around them. They sink from the water that gets in them. If you're around negative people or you have negative thoughts all day and you verbalize that, you're letting that fucking water in. You're going to sink your ship. You've got to be strong at that at that boat and say, I don't give a fuck about this water. Yeah, it's in my mind. I know it, but I'm not going to verbalize it and bring it into my bring it into my life. When you say positive stuff, that activates your faith. When you say negative stuff, that activates fear. Do you want to work out of faith or fear? Because I can assure you, faith is a better way to go, but you have to be fucking strong. You have to go in there and listen, I'm not saying I don't have shitty thoughts every day. Everyone does. Anyone tells you they don't, it's full of shit. I just try to control what I verbalize and bring into fruition, right? I catch myself all the time because language is a very strong thing. You can control a lot of stuff with language. And you learn I'm learning a lot about this this year because I'm trying to turn things around in terms of what I have to do mind mentally wise. Business wise, it is what it is, but I want to grow, right? I just don't want to I don't want to just get by. Getting by sucks. Fuck getting by. I want to make fucking money. I want to make a lot of money because if I do get to the point where I'm unhappy, at least I'll have fucking money. I'm like, whatever. I can go take a limo ride to the fucking wherever. But so the reality is this. What are you going to do differently? How are you going to get motivated? What are you going to do? Part of that is going to be telling yourself every day, like, listen, I, I don't know if you guys believe in God. Some of you do, some of you don't. It's fine. I do. So I use that as my higher power. And you know, I, I say stuff to him all the time, like, you know, I say thank you for this. And every morning, I wake up and say thank you for what I have. And I say thank you for stuff that hasn't even come to fruition yet. Thank you for making me a fucking hundred million. Thank you for making me a movie star. Thank you for making me whatever it is I want. Thank you for making that happen. Thank you for making the one of my dreams one step closer to me. Like, thank you for that. You know, be positive. I can assure you it's going to be a lot better than negative. Thank you for the business. Even though I don't have it yet, thank you for making sellers and buyers want to work with me. Thank you for making people want to invest with me. Thank you for helping me find flips. Thank you for making me make money. Thank you for making me a coach that I can bring other people to the fucking from the dark into the light. When you go through a shitstorm personally in life, it's far better to fucking help other people than reading about it in a book. Like I've dealt with a lot of shit. So when people I coach people, I'm fucking coaching about what I know. I don't coach about what I don't know. I coach about what I fucking know and the shitstorm I went through. My mindset is if I figured my way out, I can lead others. So that's the reality. Yeah. What are you going to do this year to change it? You're the gatekeeper of your thoughts. So when, you, when you're thinking about stuff, try to think positive. If you feel that negative stuff in your head, that's fine. Just don't verbalize it. Don't tell people, how's business? Uh, it's okay. It's getting better every day. That's, your, that's the way you got to say it, man. How, uh, yeah, how much money you got? I'm getting more and more every day. Listen, you can, maybe you're not even paying your fucking bills. You're behind. But guess what? I'm getting more and more every day. Fuck, man. You got to start thinking that way so you start bringing that stuff to you. I'm not talking about the law of attraction. I mean, that's part of it. That's definitely part of it. People will get this out of this and say, the law of attraction, Derek believes in that. I, I do. 
I believe in God brings it brings it to, towards you, but I think at the same point, you've got to verbalize stuff in your in your mind and then verbalize it with your with your mouth so that and even around other people, that language is of what's going on. And also don't join in on the pity party that people have, the victim stuff. You know what I mean? Like, ah, oh, this market sucks and you know, no one's doing good and bullshit. People are fucking making money. You're just not. And you can work hard and not make money, right? It's all in due season. When is the due season? Look, if you plant seeds in fucking winter, what kind of a crop do you think you're going to get? I can assure you ain't going to get shit. You have to do the right thing at the right time. So you've got to figure out for yourself, no matter what business you're in or relationship you're in or what's going on, what do I need to do and what time do I need to do it at? Because that's the reality, right? That's what you want to be at. So 2015, work on your mindset, stay strong. I'm working on mine. Any questions, you know, leave a question here. I'll try to answer anything I can. And again, I hope this works for you. Happy 2016. Stay safe for 2015. A lot of crazies out there. See you later.